and two of the most controversial topics are that of politics and religion. You know, but you know the brothers would debate, and they would go about it in a real respectful manner. They had a lot of order, a lot of discipline. Everybody made you know good points. It was real respectful, and I would listen. And it was not too long after 9/11, and what I realized is that you know everybody would just give a different spin, a different viewpoint, uh, a different opinion of all the exact same information that they received from CNN. So it gets you to thinking, well, what about the people who own CNN? What about the people who are in control of the masses of information that, are, that, are, that is put out to the people? It's, it's very dangerous because with this, with this power, you know, these people are able, are able to uh, manipulate and mold the opinions of the masses on a large scale in the series. And it's to the extent where you know, they can uh, control the type of cigarette that you smoke, the type of clothes that you dress, your taste in women, you know, your taste in men, uh, the type of car that you drive, the way that you relate with people. They control all these things through the media and they uh, continually condition us uh, to think as they would want us to think. So this is why it's very important that uh, we support uh, journalists like JR um, and that we utilize our own media institutions and outlets within our community, uh, like BlackReportRadio.com, um, the Bayview and various uh, community-based um, publications because we shouldn't have somebody in the soup and the tie uh, that's not from our community tell us what's going on in our community. Um, and, you know, I'm going to have to cut it short because we're a little bit pressed for time, uh, but I, with that I conclude and I will open up for a few questions. Thank you.